those two items are Terava Scrama and Hi guys and welcome to Frosty's Bushcraft, I'm Frosty your host and today I'll talk about two items that literally changed the way I'm camping. Those two items are Terava Scrama and Silky Big Boy and first I'll talk about how this combo changed the way I'm camping then I'll make a short review on each of those two items but before all of that I really need some coffee so fire making time Dry as a bone. Now you're probably thinking, did this guy just make a mallet for this one piece? And yes, yes I did, because it's fun.
Okay, so while I'm waiting for my water to boil, I'll quickly talk about how these two tools change the way I'm camping. And I know this sounds dramatic, but actually it's not. It's really simple. Those two tools are incredibly useful, really reliable, and they weigh less than an X. And that's what I'm talking about. Most of us used to carry or carry axes because you know X is a king and you can do a lot of stuff with, a, with an X. Well, a good saw, a good big saw, is better than an X combined with a good knife. And this this thing is this thing is amazing. So yeah, uh, since I got those two tools, I don't remember if I used the X once. I think I didn't. I'm pretty sure I didn't. Because, well, better than an X. Trust me. Uh, okay, now I'll just quickly talk about Scrama. Why not? So, first time I saw this Trava Scrama was whew, a couple of years ago. A friend of mine bought it and he brought it camping with us. And the first time I saw this thing, I was like, man, that's ugly. And come on, look at it. It is ugly. It looks ugly. It's strange with this big handle and everything. But when I tried it and I started working with it, oh my God, this thing is amazing. It's fairly lightweight. It's got this handle and a half grip. And this thing is excellent because, well, you can hold it like this and do some finer tasks like shaving your uh, sheet. <laughs> or you can hold it like this and it acts as a machete. A really good one, actually. So, yeah. He brought it. First of all, I thought it was ugly. It I still think it's an ugly knife, but it's great. So um, I bought it and I started using it and the rest is history. I, this is by far the best knife I ever bought. And I had a bunch of them. So the Ravaskrama, great knife. One thing to consider is it is carbon steel so you do have to take care of it or you don't but it's gonna get all rusty and uh, one thing I don't like about it is let me just try to focus it's okay see this line here it's always full of rust because the handle is just press fit it on the blade. Uh, I took the handle from mine off, I put some epoxy on it, I put the handle back on and now no rust issues. So yeah, I love this thing. And I have it for about whew, I think about a year, maybe a bit longer, I'm not sure, but I had it for a while now. And then there's this thing, silky big boy. This is the curved blade and this is the 6.5 model, which means it has 6.5 teeth in an inch or something like that. Uh, it cuts really fast it holds an edge for a long time and believe it or not you can sharpen silky saws in theory you can't and i asked uh, i reached out to silky and i asked them about it and they said no impossible you cannot sharpen these things because they are uh, coded and uh, i don't know bunch of reasons but you know mine was really really dull i had a couple of chipped uh, teeth and a couple of bent ones and uh, yeah i figured what the hell i 
I'm gonna throw it in the garbage anyway and just buy a new blade so why not try to resharpen it and yeah the trick is you have to lay it on a flat surface like a table or something like that and you just put a diamond file or a diamond sharpener or something on its side and sharpen it like this don't overdo it I did it I overdid it and uh, let me just try to focus not sure if you can tell but I over sharpened the teeth part and I didn't take enough material floor from the back of the blade so right now my saw cuts really well but it's a bit sticky but hey it cuts so I'll still keep using it it's it's a great saw uh, and um, oh my water is boiling yep it's boiling all right nope. so I saw a funny picture yesterday that said drinking coffee black doesn't make you better and I kind of disagree <laughs> this is true coffee not those pumpkin blueberry banana flavored ones real coffee While my coffee is cooling down, I, I'll actually show you how to sharpen your silky. I just bought this, brought these cheap diamond sharpeners and this is how you do it. Come on. Cool. So this is by no means a perfectly flat surface, but it's gonna do. So the way you sharpen these things is, let me just take this off, you put your file or sharpener like this, couple of minutes like this and your saw will be razor sharp again. Now, I have to repeat myself, don't overdo it because you'll end up with a sticky saw like I have. So, yeah, it is what it is, but it still cuts really well, so I'll continue using it until it dulls again, and then I'll just have to buy another blade. So, yeah, that's it for the saw. Now, back to the scrama. So this thing is made out of air 80 CR V2 steel, which is a carbon steel. So it's gonna take a pounding and it's really easy to sharpen. You can sharpen it with diamond files and these are really cheap ones. These whole three files were, I think three bucks, a bit less than three bucks. So really cheap, but they sharpen, so they're okay. Uh, I like to sharpen my knives by hand because it, it eventually makes a convex grind and I love convex grinds because they are really durable and great. So, hey man, come on, let's, come on, come on, gear stop, creation 101, gear stop means where's the stick, dodgy, dodgy means come 
Sjedni. Sjedni means sit. Mjesto. Mjesto means... Go means... Ajde. Ajde means go. So, yeah. Uh, ah, about that. <laughs> I'm sorry. This, this, re this review is... <laughs> is everything but a review. So, Terava Skrama. Great knife. I love it. Uh, you can buy it with a fancy leather sheet. Or you can buy it with this cheap plastic one I just bought it with this cheap plastic one because you know they say it's a no nonsense tool so no nonsense tool no nonsense sheet it's basically like a large Mora knife and Mora's are great so yeah and my coffee is finally cool enough I hope I know this video is all over the place and I'm sorry but it's just one of those days I guess so yeah that's it for this video thanks for watching and I'll see you next time stay frosty my friends bye bye